Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. Today in this video, we are going to discuss how we can install the OpenSSL on Windows. So this is very simple. How we install other application the same way we have to install the OpenSSL here. We will try to download the OpenSSL.exe file and we'll install how we install the other application. Once it is installed, the additional thing that you have to do is you have to set the path in the environment variables of this OpenSSL bin folder. So this is what we are going to do. So let me try to uh, come out of it and go to your browser. So you can go to your browser and just search for the OpenSSL and let's say window. Here you can find this uh, website which is slproweb.com. There you have to go and if you'll go down, you will find the option how we can download it. So here you can see that we have the option of exe and msi. I am going to download this light version of OpenSSL. Uh, if you want to download this uh, next one, you can download it out. So it is light version is only of 5 MB. So you can directly uh, click on this exe and then it will start downloading your OpenSSL exe file. So I already have downloaded uh, this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you uh, the next step that you have to do. So let me just wait for a few seconds. I'm not sure why it is taking so much of time. Okay, so just wait for a few seconds. It will download and then after that we'll try to uh, install it out. So once it is downloaded, what you have to do is you have to normally install how you install the other application. So if I will show you, I already have installed this, uh, downloaded this OpenSSL Lite version exe file. What you have to do is you have to just click on it and just say yes. And then you have to accept the agreement. Next, 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 install. And then just wait for a few seconds once it is installed. So you can see that it is installed now. Just finish it out. And uh, if you want to donate something, you can donate it out. Otherwise, just close this page. Now we are done. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to download that .exe file. You have to normally install it out. And then once it is installed, what you have to do is you have to go to your C folder, program files, and there you will find the OpenSSL folder. So if you'll go inside the program file, uh, go down. You can see this OpenSSL Windows 64. Just open it up and here you will find the bean option. Okay, so this is uh, the path that you have to set in your environment variable. So just open the bin, copy this whole path and just open the environment variable. Go to environment variable and you have to go to your uh, edit. Sorry. Let me cancel this. You have to go to your path first. So just go to this path, edit it out. And here you have to set your path to the OpenSSL bin. Okay. So just uh, try to, uh, what you have to do is just try to do a new. Here you have to paste this path and then click OK. And then OK here. Okay. Okay. And we are good now. Now, if you want to check, if you have installed your OpenSSL or not, then what you have to do is you have to open a command prompt here. And then just simply search for the OpenSSL version. So just search for OpenSSL version. And there you go. You can see that we have the OpenSSL 3.3.0 version. Okay. So this is how you can install the OpenSSL. Now in the coming video, I will try to tell you how you can generate the key pair using the OpenSSL through a command. Once that key pair is generated, what we can do is we can use that key pairs anywhere else where we want to do the encryption and decryption. So this is about the video guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content. Thanks.